Hello, good morning. Um, I will try to talk about the uh, capacities uh, we have in Venezuela for distributing maps and data. Um, in, in Venezuela, there is a one official uh, source of geographic information, which is the uh, National uh, Geographic, Simon Bolivar's National Geographic Institute of Geography. And they actually have a geoportal, four geoportal, one at uh, national level, one uh, dedicated to a coastal zone, uh, one for national planning, and other for hydrography. Um, they provide WFS services for distributing the layers, uh, and they, at, at the moment they have only basic geographic layer, administrative, physical, uh, human related. Uh, but uh, normally there is, uh, at the moment, there is no layers associated with the maritime environment. So it's uh, mostly up to the coast. We also have uh, uh, the National Geographic Data Center. We, we have a, a great deal of information, which is not really easy to access, but it's, it, it exists. We also have a meteorological data uh, from a ground station. We have a, a brand new network of automatic meteorological station, uh, some on the coast and some on the offshore islands, which uh, will be important for the CMA. And we have some uh, research centers we can provide uh, uh, geographical data in terms of layers for the map. Uh, one of these um, institutions is uh, my university, Universidad Simón Bolívar, and we have uh, some uh, sort of uh, uh, repository of satellite map, map images, uh, sea surface temperature, uh, chlorophyll, pigments, uh, sediments, winds, and also uh, web services that you can use to extract information from those data without having the need of a specialized software. Um, we have also, um, we, we are the um, Caribbean always uh, site, uh, so we have marine biodiversity data in, in terms of points, uh, US uh, collections from the USB and other uh, collections in, in, the, in the country. Um, we have a, a site uh, to uh, uh, record the, uh, the lionfish invasion, uh, and this is a very interesting project because it's a, a citizen science driven project. Uh, the divers report the sighting in, in, in the place so we can map all the sightings of the fish. We are now actually working to uh, have a uh, uh, feature that the divers reports a non-sighting, which is good for management. We also have um, ecosystem and human impact maps and polygons raster files. We develop a methodology to evaluate the, the coastal and the, the inland impact to the oceans and map it to, to the whole uh, maritime area of Venezuela. And we also developed recently a uh, Gulf of Venezuela, which is at the East Coast uh, be between Venezuela and Colombia, environmental info, uh, in, in, uh, uh, environmental info site. So in, in this uh, uh, site, we, can have, we have the chemical, physical, and biological, and also fisheries information, and you can download the data via um, standard web services. We are able to uh, distribute uh, products in uh, databases, uh, standard PostgreSQL, Shape files, text files, uh, WMS, and GeoJSON uh, protocols. Uh, this is some examples. The satellite images showing the upwelling system in, in, in Venezuela. Um, visualization uh, engine for uh, uh, ecological layers, uh, impacts, impacts maps, and uh, conservation areas, uh, points of lionfish invasion, etc. At the moment, at the present. We are, in the, in the near future, we are capable with our platform, platform to share data openly by uh, geo-survey features. And also we, are, we have the capacity to uh, harvest and maintain and distribute biodiversity database through the Caribbean Obis node. And specifically, we have a, a great deal of satellite images from several sensors, MODIS, NOAA, uh, of temperature pigments or products. We have uh, access to uh, local meteorological data. We can distribute them. Uh, we have the marine ecosystem layers, including biodiversity points, uh, coral reefs, the main ecosystem uh, shapes files. Um, we have the methodology and the layers of human impact uh, on the seas. Uh, we have a platform to report invasive, invasive species. We are actually have a lion, lionfish, but it will be easily upgradable or extendable to any other species in this uh, citizen science con concept. And we can provide also training on, uh, in quality control and quality assessment protocols for uh, uh, having the data, managing the data, and storing the data. In the immediate time, we, uh, we are able to provide a link of the uh, OBIS node, Korean OBIS node, to the CMA2. Uh, we are working on a workshop 
on uh, marine biodiversity database management using the IPT technology. So um, uh, if the CME uh, protocol start when when the CME uh, starts, uh, we can provide a, a training on this uh, uh, way of storing and recollecting information, and we are able to support also. Uh, training on data management and sharing using our infrastructure. Thank you very much. Okay,